hi guys sorry for that much delay in making the next video so actually i was uh, busy in some other work and uh, i did not get much time to work on my youtube videos but now i'm back and uh, i will be completing this project and uh, after that i will be making a few more projects so sorry for the delay let's uh, jump right into the code so first uh, I, I will be starting my application so i already have a started by running npm start command now uh, we will open localhost 3000 as our server was running on 3000 port and uh, i will open book slash add book this was our route to add book okay and we were adding some books right so like we were adding a uh, book name then uh, cover image author name isbn channel and publisher name okay <clears throat> and after that when we click on uh, add book the this was not you know redirecting it was continuously loading so let me just show you again look this is continuously loading and uh, in the previous video i told you like i will tell you why this is happening so in the code if you go here so here i'm not you know uh, returning anything like I'm not uh, returning rest or I'm not writing anything so like I have to write to end this request I have to write like rest dot end or rest dot send or rest dot json so everything like rest dot json or rest dot send or rest dot end every uh, response uh, means method in node.js ends with rest dot end so suppose if you write this dot json so at the end <coughs> what this method will do it will convert whatever you have passed to json and at the last it will call this dot end and this is this will be happening in the background suppose if you write this dot send so in the background it will be calling like this dot end also so so uh, let me just show you for now I, I will be sending some messages or some json messages to uh, our front end so for example i'm sending this.json and uh, my message is book added successfully okay book added successfully now let's uh, restart our application and <clears throat> again go to book add book add new book test to cover image will be some image author name like isbn something you can add Gener sci-fi publisher test okay now when i click on add book it will return me the json message json response which i have added so when i click on add book it will return book added successfully and you will see this message here but we have we are going to save this uh, you know whatever is coming in the body to database right so uh, but currently we are not doing any database operation here look we are not calling this uh, book model anywhere anywhere so here we have imported book model uh, which we have created here book book.js in model book.js okay and we are not saving it into database let me just show you my database so we have one collection book but here as you can see there is no entries 
so just we just want to add a new entry so for that what we have to do <coughs> what we have to do is to you know uh, to add any entry in uh, mongodb or in mongoose you can say there are two method one is save and another one is create so i will show you both method so there are there are two method save and create to add any entries there might be some other but i'm going to discuss these two method means these two methods okay so use save method first you have to create a new instance of a book book model so how you, you are going to do that so to create new instance you have to write new and book this book model will take the argument as whatever we have written here like book name cover image author name isbn general and publisher and this is coming in the request dot body so what if we pass the request dot body as a argument to book model so we can do that right so our instance is ready now what we will do we will just simply call book dot save and this will be taking a callback function callback function first argument will be error second argument will be result and uh, i will first check if it has error if it has error then throw error else console dot log result or just simply uh, return this dot session result i'm just simply sending whatever is coming as a result after saving it into the database to the front end for now okay so uh for now comment the uh, comment or uh, you can comment this out because this will be going into this save method if it it has error then it will throw de definitely throw error and uh, if it's uh, you know it it doesn't have any error then uh, it will just send whatever uh, value is coming after saving it into the database so uh, let's perform the uh, you know adding operation again okay we have already you know uh, prefilled value so just uh, click on add book here okay sorry i have to refresh the page right and uh, i have to restart the application i forgot to restart so that's why it was showing me the previous value okay so now let, let's just add sci-fi publisher okay now click on add book you will see some id look it got saved into the database and it has returned me the id unique id for this collection it has returned me the book name whatever we have sent from the front end image book image then author name isbn jena publisher and it is some kind of version and uh, let me just show you it into the database so here if you go and just click on refresh you will see this uh, value is also present in the database so which means our values is getting saved into database so that's how we you know use save method now let's uh, try and uh, use uh, by creating a uh, uh, let's just see how we can use a create method okay so I'm commenting this code and 
and uh, going forward uh, for creating any document uh, I will be using create method not save method okay <clears throat> so uh, first just you ha you have to write book model dot create and create method take argument first argument as what you want to write into the model so I am just going to write request dot body it will take a callback function again function error and result okay if it has error then throw error else this dot decision result okay don't write this function since we are writing function sorry for that now uh, let's see if this is working so don't forget to restart our application now go to that route refresh it or add test to cover image I will be adding same image author name deep ISBN change it to something Zener sci-fi publisher test and click on add book look we are getting same result right we are getting same result ID is different and here we are getting book name cover image author name ISBN and Jena okay you got it right so we are getting this this information <coughs> and uh, if you go to database and uh, refresh it you will see uh, we are getting that value in the database also and look uh, uh, look for the id id will be always different always different remember so we are getting all the information here so what we will do we will you know currently we are sending json response here but we do, i don't want to send json response i again want my uh, you know uh, my uh, I, I again want to return to the uh, uh, this page so uh, how i'm going to do that for us to do that uh, we just have to call you know uh, uh, race dot redirect so in uh, express there is a function called redirect so you can call that function and pass the route whatever wherever you want to uh, redirect so here I am re uh, redirecting to book slash add book and uh, let me just show you again so I have to restart application so uh, I, I don't want to restart every time I made changes to so let me just install a uh, node mount first so npm install save node mount okay okay node mount is installed now go to package.json and uh, here you can write node mon bin www in the start command node mon bin www now you can run npm start okay so now it will uh, you know uh, start application every time you make changes so where were we so uh, uh, we were just uh, uh, re uh, redirecting after after form submit after form submit we were just redirecting to book slash add book okay so let's just see uh, is this happening or not so test 3 book cover image and that image only as a 2 or something you can add always Jena sci-fi test and when I click on uh, add book it will you know redirect me to, to the same page notice 
it redirected me to the same page, right? And uh, if you check the database, if you check the database, book is also added. So here uh, you can use redirect function to redirect to the same page. Now this is done. Book is getting added into the database. Now let me just show, show you. Uh, here uh, we were using you know callback function uh, always, but uh, I will be using uh, async await going forward, uh, not callback function. So uh, let's just translate this code into async await. And one more thing, I will be using uh, arrow function. So uh, for now uh, this is fine, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm going to use arrow function always, and I will be using uh, 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 async await. So uh, async await you can uh, you know search on the Google or uh, um, I, I I have one uh, I will also make one video in the future, but uh, for now you you can just uh, you know search it on Google how this async await works. Like this is just to you know handle promise in node.js so uh, let me just translate this into the arrow function so to translate the existing callback function to arrow function you just have to remove this function def function word and uh, you have to add one arrow after the request uh, after this you know bracket then uh, again here you have to add one arrow then async for async uh, you know you just have to write a sync keyword before the function before the arrow function or function and uh, to await so uh, remember uh, when we add you know await we don't have to use callback because await always uh, you know add database entry and return whatever entry uh, is getting added into the database so you just have to remove this and and uh, you can just uh, store it into the book book value and uh, so uh, you may have one question right Ki, uh, how I'm going to how I'm going to handle uh, uh, error so you can just add try catch block and inside try catch block you can handle error so uh, remember this this question may uh, you may face in the interview to a string you can write so uh, like but uh, in the future uh, i will be creating one uh, you know common function to handle uh, uh, any error uh, in the any any of the route but here uh, i'm just going to add one track cache block to handle any error if we are facing while creating a document okay so uh, this is done and uh, uh, let me just uh, uh, redirect whatever we were doing in the previous uh, callback function let me just do that again just and redirect and our route was book slash add book so this is also done and uh, let me just test whatever we have done so our server have already restarted and uh, i will again refresh then test test for cover image i will be adding the same image author name as a publisher name something isbn something json publisher let me just add to here and you will see database entry is added this is working as expected nothing has changed just uh, I, I have just i used i will just uh, remove the normal callback function and I have removed normal function to arrow function. That's it. Arrow function is available in ES6. You can search it on YouTube and in the uh, 
uh, future uh, i will be making making videos on uh, uh, async await also and uh, arrow function also and if you want i will be linking my one uh, uh, medium article in the description below you can read that article i have written it on medium uh, you will get clarity like how async await and uh, uh, callback function works yes arrow function works okay so uh, this is working as expected right we uh, have added in database uh, entry to the database you you will see like we have added test for everything is added 